show what I've been doing with these uh, rain barrels. Um, this is a design that I came up with a few years ago and called the Simpler Ultimate Rain Barrel System. Um, after a number of people told me that my Ultimate Rain Barrel System was too complicated. So this is the simpler version. And what happens is that the water comes down the downspout into a trap here. The first part of the water goes into the trap and is clean out at the bottom. She can open up. And uh, I don't actually recommend doing it this way because when there is water in there and you pull the cap out, it goes to ploosh all at once and you get dirty water all over yourself. So um, some sort of another system to let the water out gently would be a good idea. Um, maybe a, a drain mounted above a, a smaller uh, spigot or something to let most of the water out before you open the trap. But anyway, the point is that the dirty water comes in here. Then at this T, there is a piece of screen wire um, in the T to prevent solid material from going through into the rest of the pipe. And the water then continues horizontally across the series of T's and into each barrel. Another thing I would do differently is instead of using solid pipe here, I would use a rubber hose. Um, it, it's pretty easy to get a good fit between rubber hose and a three quarter inch um, uh, reducer like this so that you can fit the hose in there and then fit it into the, into the hole in the bulkhead or in the, in the bung loop. Anyway, the point is, I have eight barrels here. This, um, this garage is only about 12 feet by 20 feet, maybe, maybe 15 by 20, and there's more than enough water to fill all of these barrels. Um, so they're all sitting full right now. Um, another thing you're gonna wanna have handy if, you, uh, if your barrels are exposed to the sky like these are currently, is a nail to clear the drain holes on the top of the barrels because when they get water on the top, um, whether it's from rain falling down on them directly or from overflow uh, from leaks in the pipe, you wind up with standing water on the top and you need a way to clear it so you poke through the drain hole uh, to uh, let the water out. Then, when it's time to get the water out of the barrel, you don't want to put a spigot hole in the bottom. As I described in my web post about this, uh, you can start a siphon by um, just sticking a garden hose in the barrel. I'm pushing the air out of the hose is what I'm doing. I'm pushing it down under the water to get the air out. And I just cover the end with my hand pull it down and release, and now I've got a siphon. And I can hook that up to a, a longer garden hose or use it to fill a bucket or watering can. When it's trying to stop it, I just lift it up and it stops. So um, that is the simpler way to get the water out of the barrels. Um, one other thing is that I have two, uh, two downspouts one on this side and one on the other side of the garage. And they're both hooked up to the same horizontal pipe. Initially, I had only one overflow hooked up on the far side because I didn't want an overflow right here next to the driveway. But what I found was that the screen wire here would get clogged with leaves. And so the water here had nowhere to go I couldn't get to the other side where the overflow was, so I had to put another overflow on this side also. And currently it's not hooked up to anything, but ideally this would be hooked up to some kind of a drain to get the water away from the garage. Um, so that's where I'm at right now with this system. Uh, it will eventually be enclosed by a greenhouse. Uh, I haven't built the greenhouse yet. It looks like I'm gonna have to build it in stages, which means some of these barrels will be outside of the greenhouse which is not ideal, so I'll probably disconnect them. Um, but uh, for now, I've got eight full barrels of water and no rain in the forecast, so that's a pretty, uh, pretty good place to be. Thanks for watching.